Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another day, another adventure. I'm Deb, these are my adventures. I'm a flight attendant who's going house hunting today in a different city than where we've looked at before. So let me get this on here. I actually have to leave like right now. I'm actually meeting Casey in Tampa. I found a house yesterday that hit the market over there that kind of checks off everything on our list. It's in budget. It is updated. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It has an extra bonus room and it has a pool. We're gonna go look at it right now. It's probably gonna take me the full time to get there. I just got back from Cleveland. Literally all my work stuff is still in the car. I came upstairs, I changed, I took a shower and I'm about to leave again. So all that I have up here with me is my keys and my phone. Um, I'm gonna grab a water really quick. I guess I'll just eat when I get to Tampa because I don't really have time to eat right now. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, I've been sitting literally in the same spot for mm, at least 15 minutes. I should have taken the longer way around because the amount of traffic that there is is making me late. And I just need to stop taking these toll roads because they do nothing for me. When I was getting off on my exit, there was a fire trucks, an ambulance, a community service officer that came and a road ranger. So it must be a pretty serious accident, but there's always accidents literally in this spot of I-4. I-4 is also the interstate of death for those of you who are new here. I'm a flight attendant that lives in Orlando, but I'm house hunting. Might be transferring bases at some point. I don't know, but we are going to go look at a house in Tampa. It's cute, it's very updated on the inside, the outside, and mid-century modern. You know, mid-century modern is very 70s on the outside, but it's really cute on the inside. Kitchen looks great. This is the first house Casey absolutely loves. Like, he's like, oh my God, I love this house. And I'm like, I mean, it checks off everything. I'm not like in love with it online. I like it, so I figured it's worth a shot. But the reason why I am so uh, behind, I guess you could say, is because this morning I was in Cleveland and we were supposed to leave at 8.10 and we didn't end up leaving until 9.30. We were supposed to land at 11.30 and we didn't land until 12 and I wasn't even at my car until 12.45. I would have been home earlier but you know, life happens. They have a arrival time of 3.07, an hour and eight minutes now. I'm still sitting at 54 miles until we have to get there. Oh, and I had to get gas really quick and I took a shower to wash the airplane off of me. So I just threw my hair up in a bun and I um, only had like this much makeup on. So I just kind of like finished my makeup really quick. I'm gonna stop rambling because the next hour is gonna be really boring. Would you like to do the house tour? No. no? All right, here is the entry closet. We're at the front door. I'm not gonna show the front of the house, but I'm guessing this is like the formal living room. And then you come in here, there's a step that's very popular with these Florida homes. This is supposed to be the master. And there's another step to go up. And the bathroom is super teeny tiny with one sink. And then this is actually like on a slant. So it goes like up. But this is the master closet. And then we come back through. We'll go to this side of the house. Super small linen closet. This is a bedroom. It's really small. But the closet is pretty good size. And then I guess they added this bathroom on. That's why the mirror like isn't on the wall. But it's a tub and it's all new. And then this is the other room with the other closet.
This is the initiative. All of this was a part of the Dr. Ricay. And then the master there was in the sheep. Yeah, the master looks like it. Like the closet goes. <laughs> yeah. Usually you can tell by the thickness of the walls, because you can tell that this was an exterior wall. And also the elevation difference, because this is where the foundation ended originally. Oof. The backyard and it does have a pool. It does have a big pool. And yeah. I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru though and I done messed up. I had to order everything separately and I didn't have enough money when I thought I did. So I had to add everything in the drive-thru and they weren't ready for me and it wasn't working so they made me pull up. So yeah. I forgot to fish my card out of my trunk. So I just added it really quick and the girl's like, it's not working. And I'm like, mm. okay. I know they're working on me right now. So I'll be back in just a second. We made it to my parents' house. Kiki, what did you hate about the house? I didn't hate anything about the house. I just needed to do a lot of work, which is fine. But I need to know how much work you want to put in the house and I'm not doing it all by myself. Well, you wouldn't be doing it by yourself. Come here. How much you want to do, not how much your dad is willing to do. My dad's willing to do anything. <laughs> I'm not interested in how much he's willing to do. Isn't that know. right, Mom? I want to know how much you're willing to do. <laughs> my dad will do anything. I love. Oh, Mr. Kiki! Gotcha! Get it. I got the puppy! I want the kitchen. Butcher block countertops. Yeah. With the black cabinets, white walls. That can be all changed. I'm willing to redo it at kitchen. Yeah, or like grays, neutrals. Hey, it's my backpack. <laughs> we already talked about the kind of style that we want. Casey calls it steampunk. I call it modern industrial. <laughs> okay, so what were your opinions on the house? Balls there. Nice and close to home. Um, they don't know that, but it's close enough. <laughs> and I don't know. Um, the kitchen was nice, but I think for long term, you wouldn't be happy there. But the rooms were kind of awkward, probably for what you're looking for. So you think they were small or just like the setup? It was like the setup. I don't think it has the setup that you would be happy with long term. What did you like about it though? Any other than the kitchen? Um, anything? I mean, and the it location. Was just a basic house, the location. Yeah. Yeah. It was an older house. It was from the 60s. So, yeah. There's not a whole lot you could really, really do with it without tearing out walls and stuff. It is what it is. Yeah. I didn't look at the pool at all though. Did you guys go out back? Yeah, the pool was nice and yeah. big. It was a rectangle. A pool is a pool. I could yeah. honestly care less what the pool looks like. I just hated the so it's the old cement with like the pockets. Do we used to have that? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the cement that looks but, like that. But that's an easy fix. But, yeah, they, you can put papers over it or smooth it out or just put a yeah another layer of concrete. But the design on the inside of the pool, the tiling was really ugly. But you could change that too. I mean, I don't you can change like everything. It's just a pool though. Like nobody's like just staring at the pool all the time. A pool, they all work the same. There's mom's opinion. We'll have to get dad's later. But we got the puppy. Kyoto, do you have an opinion on the pool and the house? No. Well, she has uh, something. I'm actually on my way home right now. It's 7 p.m. and I should be there in about an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. Thank you so much for coming to visit this house with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned as we are on the hunt for our Tomberlin Tavern. We are going to find our perfect home. It was just not it today. So catch you guys in the next adventure.